Can you talk about some of your earliest work where you did explore your family history? Yeah, in my, I think it was even in my first mini comic, I just did a little story about my grandfather, what I knew about my grandfather beating up that kid. I don't think I ever showed it to him. I didn't really want him to see that. I think it would have made him really uncomfortable. And it would have made me uncomfortable to see him reading it. But I think that um, what I know about them, like I said before, is so fragmentary that I feel like any version of their story I tell is equally fragmentary. It's just it's a little bit speculative. I mean, I'm, I'm hewing to what I was told as much as possible, but I don't really know. People's lives are so complex. But I don't know enough to really speak with authority beyond a couple of words here and there, you know? That's how fragmentary they were. They really didn't want to talk about it. And I understand, because I think that I know that when you've experienced a trauma, it is impossible to convey to someone who wasn't there. And so it's exhausting to try, and so a lot of trauma survivors don't try, because you just throw up your hands. How do I explain this to you? You'll never understand unless something like this happens to you, and then it'll be your version of this. Uh, but I was upset when I was younger. I really didn't understand why they wouldn't talk about it. I still wonder to this day if they talked about it with their friends who had been through it with them, or if they all kind of silently agreed not to. They must have. How can you go through something like that and never discuss it with your wife or your best friend from your town back home? His best friend from Gribov was, I don't know if they were neighbors, but he was still alive when I was, hell, 10, 15, 20 years ago, so, and lived in the Bronx. Yeah, that's the other thing. They left France for the Bronx, and my mother still hasn't forgiven them. <laughs> so, yeah, I've only used their stories a little bit. 